Alright, so we're checking out a game today called Thief Simulator. I'm not kidding. That's the actual name. In it, your job is to make stacks in probably the only way I haven't really had a simulative experience in doing, which is by stealing from everyone else. I guess it depends on how good the quality of the product was in all the other simulators we played. Spurred on by our tutorial NPC, the expertly voice acted Vinny, we must go through and knock over houses and try not to get arresticated. So, uh, <laughs> real quick here, this is by the same publishers and developers that did stuff like build and demolish, and a house flipper and stuff like that, so you're gonna notice things look very similar to those games. Like, if we can have a thieving simulator of house- of, uh, house flipper, I will be in heaven. You get- Oh no, it's gonna be Vinny. Here you go, I told you the voice acting was the best. Good job, man. This just might work. Oh yeah. Go get some sleep and we'll pick this up in the morning. Oh, Vinny. Every time I listen to your voice, it's like delicious runny margarine on- Bread. All right, let's go ahead and sleep here. So this is where we're living. We're living in like a freaking warehouse or something. I don't even know. How long are you supposed to sleep for? Like, if I get up at 6 a.m., is that good enough? Or is this a thing? Yep, sure was. Check the computer. There's a few things I need to tell you. The way they do this is actually a little bit scary because Vinny calls us all the time and knows exactly what we're doing. Like, he's almost here with us. So, supposedly you can, like, upgrade stuff and you get new skills and things of that nature. I'm very curious to see exactly how thorough it is. Tools for Thieves lets you buy new <laughs> kit online. But you might not have what it takes to use them all. Click on <laughs> Steal Your Forum. Are you serious? Is it okay, real quick. Do we have any professional thieves in the comment section? Do you guys have like a forum where you can buy kits to be better thieves? Like, is this a thing? It's gotta be, right? I gotta mention too, our guy's name is Sparky McBall. I wanted to make his name Sparky McBall Bag, but I there's not enough space in the profile name. Oh, by the way, if this is your jam in the end, the developer sent me a key to check it out early. I'll have links in the description below so you can check it out. $30 for a freaking crowbar. Whatever happened to Harbor Freight? I could get one for three bucks over there. Steal your rent a thug. <laughs> Black bag. Hold on. I need to know. What? What? what car parts? Really? Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Yep. Saucepans and stuff like that. I, my first house, all I, all I ended up doing was stealing everything in their kitchen. Like, I feel really bad for some poor lady that gets home after working like a 13 hour shift and she just wants to cook up some steakums and she can't even do it because I took her freaking griddle. Here you can buy secrets. Oh. Hot tips on what's where, who's guarding it, who leaves the door unlocked, whatever. Okay, yeah, stop talking, please. All right, so we got Greenview 109, the Martins. Oh, you can buy all the tips. They're all for free. So there's no reason not, I guess this shows up on our mini map. Kind of like how the dirt pockets and stuff were at House Flipper. This is really, really weird. Yeah, I want all this there. Right, now go to your car. This is like a really dark line right here. There is no one home all the time. The house just sits in perpetual depression. All, always, forever. I get, do we have to do anything else or? I guess that's it. Go to the car, it says. So the, our pad is pretty legit over here. I mean, I'm pretty impressed. Look at this. We got a laptop as well, but we need electronics level one and hacking tools. Whatever that means. Oh my God. The little hints thing is like, it's like a knife in my earlobes. So there's no jump button, which was the exact same. Yes, Vinny. Go hawk your loot at the pawn shop first. <laughs> You'll need empty pockets at Greenview 109. All right, let me. At the pawn shop? Are you talking about the internet thing or? What other stuff do we have in here? A jewelry workshop? What? What is this? Storage? Okay. <laughs> it's time to make good decisions. The insurance ad said to the thief. I'm getting in the car. I'm gonna, we'll figure this out. Get in. Well, this is, like, this is like an actual driving mechanic. So you turn the car on. Oh, it just sets you at a location. Okay. That there's, there is some legitimate driving as well. The pawn shop's open 24 hours a day. There's an actual NPC inside. There's already more, like, the fact that there's NPCs and stuff like that, it's a, it's a little bit more than a gold Welcome rush and back. stuff. I see you've been professionally voice acted as well. All right, yeah, oh, it's all yours. A toaster, a pan, there you go. You got all the ladies' stuff. It's time for Greenview 109. Get me that TV and don't pawn it off. Is that a piece of candy or like a bashed battery? It could be a soda can. Anyway, let's go steal some things. I just noticed my car is really clean. Huh. Oh, I legit get to drive. That's a, so is it gonna tell me where, hold on. What is it, 109 Greenview? What am I at, 107, 106? Oh, there's people. 
like, I don't want to hit this guy because I feel like I need the money to buy because it's a $30 for a freaking crowbar. What was it, a flashlight? Like, 20 All right, here we go. Now, you're gonna, you want to park in a very inconspicuous location. This empty lot over here is perfect. Okay, turn the car off. Get on out. Slowly close the door. I like that you can open and close things, like, quickly or... Hi. How you doing? Are you gonna make me fail this? Alright. Bye. That was the most uneventful interaction I've ever had with another person while trying to be an active thief. I guess it's because we haven't really done anything yet. Every woman here is just wearing a sports bra and like pajama pants. What kind of neighborhood is this? Actually, let's take a look at this neighborhood. There's a whole neighborhood here. Like, look at this. There's a house over here. It's got a full interior. You gotta be kidding. Like, can you go into any of these houses? There's the sprinklers running. Getting a little wet. I guess you can go inside. Micro camera? What the hell? There's a camera on this freaking mailbox? Are you serious? Jesus. Big brother's freaking watching. All right. So easy to break. Damage wooden fence in the back. Spare door key in the drawer. No one home. And it's got... There's no one home. But there's like a lady. There's people walking all over the place. Why can't we do this at night? What is this? Slowly open it. What could possibly be inside? I don't know because you- Oh, it's a hiding spot. <laughs> Get in the dumpster. <laughs> I had no idea how he closes it on you. Get, the, get me out of here. All right. We've done enough. So now I gotta- I gotta load up my- I gotta load up my crowbar here. All right, now you want to take out your crowbar. This is it! Thor powers. Activate. Oh. I hit every single plank of wood all at once. Whatever. That's cool. All right, so now- just got to, um, hold on. Let's see, is there like an, a different way that we can get in here? Are any of these, are any of these windows unlocked? How about the front door? We could just do the front door, right? The door's locked as well. All right, whatever, we'll just smash a window out. It's no big deal. And remember, kids, always wear gloves when you smash it out the windows. Flippity jibbit. All right, so there's no one here, so I really don't have to worry about, could you go to the fridge? Man. I really don't have to worry about anything else. I'm taking all this, your pans and your cereal and your ketchup and your, Someone's outside. Aha! Look at this. A friggin' key. I don't really know, like, what the key will do for us. Oh, this is safe. I think it, it's kind of a safe. Yeah, there's like 15 bucks in a crappy safe. Who puts 15 loose dollars in an unlocked safe? You're better off just putting it underneath some boots or something. Like, it's just so weird that there's a legitimate safe here in the $15 and it wasn't even locked. Okay, I guess this is actually considered a big item. I'm gonna have to heft this thing out the friggin' window. Oh. We can steal this toaster, too, and this friggin' pot. Everything's going with us. If I can make any money off of it, it's coming. How about inside here? Anything laying on the ground? How about in these drawers? Nada. Flood 20 of the PM. We're over here stealing a TV from 1975. If for some reason our, our Vinny wants it, I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it's kind of heirloom or something. I wonder if I can just get up and go. Like, we're, oh. Oh, it shows you how much noise you're making. I see what that is. At the bottom left end of the screen, I was like, what the hell is that? I thought it was our, like our heart monitor or something, but it was pretty much flatlined like all the time. Got it. All right. You guys are going to want me to do it. So, for science. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> it ends the mission immediately. Man, I thought at least a ragdoll would go flying or something, or it would charge us a bunch of money. Little last checkpoint. Man, what a bunch of crap. All right, I, I stole... I stole the TV... I stole the TV again. All right, let's get out of here and not fail this time. I'm going to try and not hit any of the sad, depressed, freaking sports bra-wearing professionals that linger around this town. We out. Thanks for the TV, sucker. Oh, don't pawn it, he said. So I have to bring this home. Vinny wants it for some reason. All right, there we are. Oh, look at how glorious. Oh, we leveled up in being a thief. Yes, I Vinny. I see you got my screen. Oh, God. Go to Black Bay. I set up a page on there for the TV. Go there and sell it. We're going to get $60 for the TV? Eh, good work. <laughs> Go to the Rent-A-Thug. Now here you can find a little oh extra work. I put one on there just for you. The one with the dishes. The bakers break their dishes. It's like such a mundane job. This is something that like a 10 year old would hire a person for. Like, they called me a meanie, break their dishes. Okay. 
We're, we're really doing this, huh? Okay. Oh, I can unlock my first skill point in lock picking. Oh, that actually sounds pretty useful. What else do you have here? Lock picking, lock picking, appraisal. Okay. Agility, throw bricks, climb vines, carry big items faster. Climb on the house gutters. You become like a ninja. I probably should have bought a tip, but I didn't. I like a challenge. Just driving right into their freaking backyard over here. Like we don't even care. Slowly close the door. All right, we need to find a weakness in their impermeable freaking fence over here. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. Usually there's like a weakness in the fence. Can I climb in over here? It kind of looks like you can almost climb in. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, there's a, there's a fence back here that's all messed up. Hold on, right over here. Look at this. Blam. All right. We're in. There's bars on the friggin' windows. What was that? Did I say something just now? Oh, there's people. So we actually broke into a totally different house. Um, like, they, they really suck at fixing up their fences. So we went from one yard to another yard. And we have to get in here. Lock picking level four. What Level four lock picking for a friggin' window. Anybody got time for that? Pop. All right. We're inside. Can I still steal stuff? while I'm in here, or do I have to just like break things? Oh, you can still steal stuff, and we are. Uh, are these the dishes? <laughs> yep. Great, now go buy yourself a DIY simple lock pick on Tools for Thieves. <laughs> oh God, all the names of crap. This is why you check all the drawers. 15 bucks, looming around doing nothing. What's over in here? Ah, some delicious bleach. So you can take this time to drop one in their toilet, but we're pretty much done over here. You can get out however you do. Like, it's no big deal. I think we should just go out the front door. Gotta get rid of that, though. You don't want none of that. I happen to be wearing leather gloves, but it shouldn't be a big deal. Go ahead and open this. And there you go. That's how you do it. I got this tree over here riding with me. I don't know how this happened, but whatever. Oh, I just noticed. There's NPC cards. I had no idea. Toolsforthieves.com. I still don't know why this is a thing. $20, huh? How much money do I have? 209 bucks? Sure. Climbing gloves. Mini electric lockpick safe cracking. Look at all this crap. Night vision goggles. Before you get yourself into trouble, try it on a training lock. I left one in the garage. All right, because we're potentially incompetent, we have to try the lockpicking tool on a training lock. Oh, was this Skyrim? It is. It's like Skyrim. I did it. Yes, Vinny. You did a good job. Yeah, on that I, old I did. TV in the empty house. For a real job, you gotta scope the joint. Go to 111 by 7 a.m. and watch. All right, it's time to do what real thieves do: peep on people in the darkness. I'm supposed to go to 111. Oh, I almost did a guy. Well, you can break the car. I already got a dollar repair cost. What kind of repairs are you gonna get for a dollar? Like. I'm gonna spread some macaroni and cheese on it. Like, if it, I don't even know like what you could get for a dollar. It's like duct taping something. All right, so you get up, you get up on here. Oh, you have to. I'm sorry, we can't jump, so we have to use the the, the little ramp. So they have to watch this guy over here. There's a box in there. Wait for them to leave and get me that box. You could just chill in the car. Look at this dude. This doesn't look suspicious at all. Just a car, double parked with the door open. And the guy wearing all black leather inside with gloves is just sprawled out across the seat like this. All this shot needs is like his crowbar, like lingering next to him. Oh, this is really cool. It legitimately shows you what he does throughout the day in the upper right hand corner. I didn't think it would make like a little graph for him. Oh, these ball bags finally leaving. All right, so now we should be able to just sneak right in the front. He didn't even close his gate. This is what you get for being careless. Okay, we can, we can, we can pick the door. So let me just Skyrim my way through here. Boom. Like it's no big deal. Taking his radio. I'm taking everything. We're not just, we're not just grabbing a box. I want to get every single dollar I possibly can. Oh, there's a TV, but it's so big and heavy. Crap. What the hell? Oh, that's great. There's a giant canister of gas in here. Is he here? No, that's someone else. Okay. I'm taking the TV too. That's funny. A little warning came up on there. Said doing something shady. <laughs> Did you just walk by? At least the women here wear full tops. It's not just uh, it's not just all sports bras on this side. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe this, is this a different side of town? All these houses look really, really sketchy. Like I don't even know if I would consider this place to be a nice neighborhood or what. Let's get out of here. I like this. 
It's called Box with Shady Content. Are we leveling up up in here? That's some level two lock picking right now. Just over here on Thief Hub, whatever it's called. Other? Box with Shady Content. It says sell it. Boom. What the Lombardi's own like a home improvement company or something? Mother of God. It's all interconnected. House Flipper is connected with this. See, we smash people's houses up and then the Flipper has to come in. They move out of the neighborhood, right? Because they're tired of getting their stuff took. Then in House Flipper, you come in, you make the house look nice and you flip it. This is probably the neighborhood. The neighborhood that we've been in is the House Flipper neighborhood the whole time. Let's buy some tips. Let's do uh, tenant routines. There we go. No one between 1 a.m. and 4 a.m. Perfect. Hey, pawn shop guy, I got a TV for you. This pawn shop guy is like, hey, Gray, 1978 called. They want their Little TV back. back. There. There you go, buddy. You boys want a cell phone? You want yourself a nice Nokia? This is some. Oh, you can put the big items over here and you can sell them. You can put them right over here and they'll land on the ground and he'll buy them there, too. Sleeping all day to 1 a.m. That's cool how there's a day night cycle and the entire area legitimately changes as it goes from day to night. Break a window and then hide or run. I don't think so. We're grabbing whatever's inside. We're going to keep stealing, man. I don't care if they tell me to steal or not. This is how you make cash in this game. All right, we're going to park in the field over here. Ooh, I almost hit that freaking post. Got anything in your garbage? Oh, there actually is something in the garbage. What is this? This is a note. There's a pricey coffee machine in the kitchen. Oh, that's cool. We can lockpick this area too. This is awesome. It's like, it's almost open-ended. All right, we're inside. A little bit of light over here, but it's no big deal because we know there's no one home. So now, what you gotta do, grab your freaking crowbar and split. Oh! oh! Oh, the police! The police are coming! Oh God. We gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, piss! <laughs> get in the car! 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 This is a lot worse than I thought it would be. I didn't know that the police are a thing in this game. I had no idea. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Maybe the police will come, but then they'll leave. Okay, it's a foot chase. I think they have no idea where I am. Maybe they do. We're going in the dumpster, boys. Oh, crap. Oh, crap! They're right here! Pfft. I didn't know they would, like... Oh, this gun is right there! <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get for not looking at the garbage bin. Freaking cop comes up, his gun is just right in my field of view, and he's just like, ah, he's probably not over here. Oh, we're down to one GTA star from two. All right, the police are still here. I'm getting in my car and I'm getting out of here. This is bull crap. I don't have time for this. Unfortunately, we can't even steal from those guys now because the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the time, they're, ba they're back home by now. They're only gone from one to four. Yeah, I've already been through a foot chase. I'm not going through a car chase as well. Screw you, police. I did my- ah! Two dollar repair job. <laughs> All that for two dollars. Open a standard training lock. Sure. I assume we need a legitimate lock pick for this. Like we had the DIY crap lock pick, and now we need the real lock pick. Here we go. Standard lock. Press the button at the exact time when a pin is at the bottom. Sure. Okay. You gotta tap it so that the thing goes all the way to the bottom. But you want to there. You want to make sure it hits the bottom. Nope. That was that would have been good, but I screwed it up. Hold on. Come on, baby. There we go. Locked. What kind of sick? Like what sort of sick jobs would break the toilet? Why? $100 for tenant loot routine. Screw that. We're Thief321. That's our account name. The big ass house. I mean, no joke. This house is freaking huge. Is there anyone home? Like, this is a legit house. Before, we were knocking over trailers and stuff like that. This one looks legit. I mean, I don't see anyone. All right. Just got to bust in this lock over here like it's no big deal. There we go. Open this. It seriously doesn't look like there's anyone home. So... I'm probably just gonna smash it. Oh, there's a window open. We've never had this before. Yes, that's what I'm talking. What? There's a camera. There's an alarm clock. We got a front door key. Look at all this. Money. Another alarm. Well, who keeps like two alarm clocks? Oh my god. Yeah, all that. Uh, uh. Ooh, yeah. Uh. Guys got cash laying all over the place. This place is like thick loot. I'm telling you, everywhere you go, there's loot in here. But take your freaking child's toys as well. Actually, we're not. I'm not that sick. Oh, look at the guitar. That's legit. My inventory's full. Crap. All right, I got the guitar. We're set. Oh my God, there's like expensive vases. I can't carry all this stuff. All right, bust in the lock like it ain't no thing. Go, one chunk left. Screwed it up. Got it. 
take out the old crowbar, sneak on through the house. And this is what your freaking toilet gets for calling me a hoe. Uh. Crowbar away, go right out the bedroom, and no one knows the difference. There you go. And that's how you do it. I almost just got freaking hit by a car. We got an A rating. We're leveling up like crazy. But tell me, Vinny. Tell me all about it. task, I need you to learn how to climb a lattice. Like a man spider, you know? That instance when you fear copyright so much that you call it man spider. All right, I think that's going to be it for now. We did pretty good. We've stolen some stuff. We've got a ton of skills. What can I put it in? Appraisal or agility? Throw brick. I feel like I want to get the agility because that allows you to get in the back, but this is kind of cool too. Disassemble items. Oh, never mind. We're doing this. What do you guys think of Thief Simulator? You have to let me know in the comments section below. I'm liking this game so far. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.